hello guys welcome to scotech discovery yeah today basically this video is for the new guys who are into cryptocurrency if you uh are new maybe if you're just hearing about cryptocurrency or you want to know how to send and receive your coin i think you need to stay watch this video from the starting to the end because i'm going to be showing you guys on how these things work and do let me just remind those who probably they might have been into cryptocurrency still watch this video because i bet you you're gonna learn new things because yeah i, I am certain about that you're gonna learn new things so let's just quickly explore how you you know send our receive coin and the kinds of blockchain users especially when it comes to usdt so uh basically what i do is that I go out there to make an extensive search on how to make money online or any related matter and when i get this stuff tested and trusted i bring it forward to the public to benefit so if you are new to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button below turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop my beautiful awesome content youtube will be able to inform you so that you will miss any of any of my content and please if you find this video interesting smash the like button for me so that youtube will be able to you know recommend this video to other interested or uh, in audience so let's just um get started um basically so uh, let's say i'm gonna be using the sample Artbeat and binance it's very simple i just want to show you guys quickly uh so right now these are the coins that i've invested in and uh, the last coin i invested in about two dollars i've cashed out and because of all bit maintainers as a then i couldn't withdraw my profit was about six hundred dollars but nevertheless i was able to you know withdraw um 200 usdt to my binance and i cashed it out so but uh, right now as you can see these are my investment before i continue let me just show you uh you see i invest sanshu around one billion of this coin i invested this or so you see so various coins i've invested what millions of millions and i'm just waiting patiently for them to have value in probably three decimal places and boom there i go so let's just quickly so when you enter any exchange platform what you need to watch out first you need to watch out at the home as you can see here the home please watch this video in full on this youtube you know so that you see the whole scheme of this um, um device i'm using see this video you have you see home you see market you see trade some you see futures like binance but here in all bit you see investments and um you see fund some wallet some platform say it's fund some say it's wallet if whichever name they give it they also have the same purpose where your money where you see your money so once you click it you see deposit you see withdraw you see transfer this transfer simply means you transfer it within your account to trading to investment to gain to etf you know like that so just like in binance i'm going to show you all guys so just watch this video from start to the end so that you understand so as you can see now this is um deposit you meaning if you say deposit meaning you are receiving meaning you want to bring in something to your account that what means deposit so it means for those who don't know the word deposits yeah some of you some of you might be familiar with it but let me just use the simple term that you probably understand is that when you want to receive a coin you click deposit you understand so when you click deposit there you see you're going to see all the coin listed on that platform so there are numerous coins so you have to know the coin you want to receive then you search for that coin. let's just see you want to see, now you can see these are coins that i've searched for previously you see my search history here yeah? so you just need to search i want to teach you guys on usdt usdt as you can see then you click usdt now you click it says choose right address to proceed very important you have to choose a very correct address to proceed so you click confirm so now this is the address you see there's something i want you to take note of i want you to take note of something as you can see you can see erc20 here you can see bep 20 bsc you can see trc20 heco all these are blockchains you understand this is a ethereum the erc20 is ethereum blockchain yeah, binance smart chain wherever you understand i am not here to just break all these things down but all these things they have function as you can see i'm clicking them gradually they all have function it's same usdt address in different blockchains okay right now i don't have this okay can you see they all have function 
and i'm going to be explaining the function not every old user know about these things not everyone i can bet you not every old user as i say if you are new or old you have to watch this video this time so that you're gonna learn something new okay let's continue now if you check if you see the elc20 take note of something i want you to understand something very well you see important they say it is forbidden to recharge the address with assets other than usdt any assets of other currencies charged to this address will not be retrieved okay this oh it's because i'm depositing the the point i want you to know is that when you are withdrawing i want to show you something the same thing you understand carefully just hold on there's something i'm going that i want you to understand okay why is odd bid forbidding okay they forbid erc20 it's not like that well i don't know i don't know what bit forbid i've not experienced this but the question the point i want you to understand that in erc20 most times the charges is usually high is usually high let's check something like i will do that on binance when i explain on binance you see very well you see that here they say the minimum withdrawal is 50 usdt withdrawal fee is what one usdt previously in erc20 it used to be 100 minimum of 100 withdraw then charge fee is about 50 usdt is much so all these things are their their advantage can you see this is the point i'm trying to make to you because if you are depositing meaning you are withdrawing from somewhere so you have to take note of all these things I, i'm going to explain very well so when you when you want to deposit after searching the you the coin i'm using a case study of let's say i'm using usdt as my own case you know so all i need to do now is that i have to choose you see here i can't withdraw on both bits here i can't withdraw currently while i'm doing this video i can't withdraw um uh, through erc20 but i can deposit to erc20 i don't know maybe they are maintaining the stuff or whatever but guess what the point i'm trying to make you to know is that use this bap20 bsc you understand because most times the when you are when you are withdrawing I mean when you are sending the charge fee is usually low a lot of people don't know this so you copy the address you understand address has been copied so all you need to do is that you go to the platform that you want to send whether it is ruko luno binance clever i'm going to be using binance for example so that you take just stay attentively and watch this video you understand properly so now this is the wallet coin this is the wallet okay in my wallet this is a small amount i'm having the coin has been dumping so bad now when you come to your wallet on binance there is something i want you to know binance when you buy true p to p on binance for you to be able to withdraw to other wallets you have to transfer you have to transfer your coin from p to p to spot you understand you have to transfer your 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 coin from p to p to spot when you transfer your coin from p to p to spot let me just show you how you do it it's very simple maybe those of you who do not know how to transfer so that you don't get panicking and feel like now you see i'm having in my p to p this is just less than this is the usdt i'm having is a very small usdt i want to show you guys how you can transfer from here from um what is it called um p to p to spot so you can see this buy you can buy you can see sell you can see transfer so you click transfer there's something i want you to understand then you click transfer you understand i want to go back so that you see it now you when you come when you get you open the binance you see it like this um, you go to click to wallet when you click wallet then you click transfer when you click wallet you click p2p sorry p2p take note of it then you click transfer meaning you must transfer your p2p balance to your spot before you can withdraw now you come to transfer you click to transfer you see it says from p2p to spot do you understand now it's usually on binance that btc comes first i'm having available balance of zero btc as you can see here on p2p so what it means is that for me to transfer my usd to spot i have to click this as you can see there's an arrow here it means that there are more coins you can click 
So you click it. You understand? So you you search. Or if you can trace the coin, you trace. But most often, you, you know the coin you want to, you just search for it. Say, you see, I already have search history. So I'm not searching. But in your own case, you may not have this. You have to type USDT, USDT in this way. Then you see, you click. See the balance I'm having very low. You see now, it's not showing yet. Can you see? So you click max because I want to transfer all of it to from P to P to spot. Then you transfer. Are you understanding? So when you transfer, this is it. You see, when you refresh, you will not see any amount. You see, it means that it has gone to it has gone from P to P to spot. Uh, let me show you from P to P to spot. Can you see? You see now I'm having where's the USDT? You see here it, it is. So when you've done that, then you now come withdraw. You understand? If you come withdraw, you see all the coins you want to withdraw. Let's just say USDT, for example. You click USDT, as you can see. Now, that address that you want to withdraw, that you've copied, you just come and paste here. You paste it. From that platform, you copied it from. You understand? You paste it you see the network some platform will bring out the network automatically itself then you click you choose bep20 can you see so there's you see you choose bep20 you choose bep20 which is this so once you choose it you press confirm can you see it says usdt is 0 0.8 the fee you see, can you see at the downside? Transaction fee. Look at the downside. Make this video full so that you can see what I'm showing you guys. Transaction fee is 0.8 USDT. You get it? So that's the transaction fee. But if we are using maybe another. So let's just say we want to use ERC20. Eh? I want to show you the, the what I'm trying to explain. The fee differs if you don't understand this. And it's the same USDT you said. So you click ERC20 for example and you press confirm. Look downward. Can you see it says transaction fee is 70. Earlier I explained that in all bit, the transaction fee is 50 minimum of 100. Withdraw. But here it says that. I don't know if, say, if it states. You see, you see here? It's a minimum withdraw of 140. Can you see? And transaction fee is 70 USDT. Wow. So that's huge. That's huge. So that's the essence of this ERC, whatever you see. But a lot of people don't know about it. As I said, you probably might be doing this crypto thing. I may not take note of all this crypto is why. You understand? So it's only on Scotech Discovery you get discoveries a lot. Okay? So please smash the subscribe button and smash the like button as well. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop my bit for some content, YouTube will be able to notify you. So let's get con let's con continue. Okay, so now what you need to do next is this what you need to do next is this you 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 go back to click the i want to show you the difference the bp20 now when you click you see here it says minimum is 10. can you see how it's changing it's changing yeah it's actually changing it says fee is 08. can you see so then you click you see the, I don't meet up the minimum, so I won't be able to withdraw. Then if I press withdraw, it says withdraw must be at least 10 because that's the minimum. So that that's if I have 10, I once I press withdraw, I do the necessary authentication, mobile authentication, email authentication, or wherever Google authentication or the likes. Binance will release the coin to my Orbit wallet. So it's as simple as that. And if I want also want to, you know, transfer, maybe I want to deposit from Orbit. So uh, I want to deposit. I want to deposit. Uh, 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 what is it called? I want to deposit from. Uh, from buy buy. I want to deposit in Binance, as you can see USDT. So, you can see now it says ERC20. Usually ERC20. I know ERC to be a very high charge fee. You get. So what I need to do right now is just to. Click this place. You understand? The same way I taught you guys on Earthbeat. I copy this wallet. Can you see? 
say wallet. Then I go back to odd bit. So this is uh, just the same thing, interchanging. You understand? So if I if I now say withdraw, meaning I want to deposit to what? To all bits. I've set your I search. So you see, it's gonna bring. See, this one is you can't withdraw through this. Place. So you click BEP. You understand? You click BEP. So right now, as you can see, this is the USDT extract coin. So all you need to do is just to paste that wallet you copy from Binance. The same thing. You know, you choose the coin. He says, okay. Sorry, sorry. This is not where I'm supposed to paste. So this is where you put the amount. Okay. Then you 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 put the address. You can see I already have my Binance address on this. So I just click. If you want to add, you call me and add. Okay. You can see it. So you choose the address you want to have. You see ERC20, CBEP, the same thing. You know. Remarks, you put the name you want to put to enable you know. You can see withdrawal fee here is one USDT, it's very cheap, and they say it's minimum withdrawal is 50 USDT. But if let's say you put ERC20, okay, it's forbidden, that's why I'd have shown you other other others are low, but on um, but bit here, ERC20 usually it's very high, like I said, it's 100 USDT and minimum of minimum of 100 USDT and uh, um, withdrawal charge fee. Is 50 USDT you get so that's that's it so it's very simple to, and if you want to deposit it's very easy you just come to deposit search the coin you know like I've explained earlier you just copy the address you send to the person that wants to send you the coin make sure you copy and paste do not edit you copy and paste when you copy and paste the person the person should copy and paste because any slight changes in this address you may, they may you may lose your coin they may send it to somebody somebody's else wallet you understand so please once again if you are new to my channel please smash the like button subscribe this channel turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop my beautiful and awesome content youtube will be able to notify you and please drop your comment i appreciate if you share these videos to others so that youtube can recommend this video to other people and thanks for watching and i really appreciate thank you so much for watching i appreciate it a lot thank you so much